Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Jamie Hughes Show. My name as always is Jamie Hughes and today I'm going to be giving you my review of Manchester by the Sea. Now as always with my videos this review may include spoilers so you have now been warned. And Manchester by the Sea stars Casey Affleck, Michelle Williams, Lucas Hedges and it tells the story of Lee Chandler and his nephew Patrick uh, and, they, and how they deal with the loss of Patrick's father and Lee's brother. And I've got to say... I felt completely different to how I feel now about this film than when I did when I left the cinema. I went to see this film on Saturday afternoon. I'm now filming this review on Monday for context. And I, I came out of the cinema and I felt really subdued. I didn't know how I truly felt about this film. And it was only when I went away and this film really kind of stuck with me. And I let it, the full emotion of what had happened wash over me. That I really appreciated, appreciated how great this film was. Um, because this film, it holds no punches. It really felt... and it feels like this is a real film. It feels like you're following this guy around as he deals with the death of his brother. Uh, it's the most real representation I've ever seen of grief on film, and it it it's breathtaking. It's so heartbreakingly beautiful, this film. It just told a real great story, and part of the reason why I think this film works so well uh, was obviously the actors are great in it. I don't... I can't say any more about how great the actors were than what's already been said. They are really genuine and fantastic and I hope uh, they go on and win all the awards. But we'll go back to why I think this film and one of the things that makes this film so real and great and that was the lack of music and the lack of soundtrack in this film where there was talking. There were a few like montage bits but for the most part of this film there is no music in it and you get those awkward silences and you just get to feel um, the, these characters' grief, and it just really stuck with me. And I just genuinely can't get ho out. I can't get over how great this film truly, truly is. Um, and I, yeah, I can't. I, I don't really want to dwell on this film too much. I just, it's it's not for everyone. It's really not. Um, I did have a few issues with the pacing, as I said, because you have these. Um, scenes where there's no music they do feel a little drawn out in points but i don't want to say if you stick with it but if you can start to appreciate them early on then it just takes this film to another level and as i said this film probably won't be for everyone because if you don't like slow paced films you probably aren't going to enjoy manchester by the sea i'll be i will really be honest but um if you can give it a shot because as i said the way it depicts death and this harrowing story that that these characters go on uh, is really really great and one of the other things i've loved about this film this is where it might get a little bit spoilery and um, so this, here's an extra warning is that i loved how this film um just sort of ended uh not like sopranos where it ended mid said gotcha uh no um it, the way that this film just ends it it doesn't have the nice happy ending that you think it's going to have it it literally just ends and continues the story and that's where i feel like it's so true to life that we you know this this their lives have to carry on like lee has to go back to boston patrick has to go to school and they have to work ways around that uh, and it's not this really uh heartwarming ending that you think you're going to get it's just there and it's done and i that's what I appreciate so much about this film. It was really, really great. And I don't think I can say any more about this film, apart from the fact that just please, if you get a chance, go and see it. Do want to give a quick shout out to Cineworld Broughton because they said they weren't going to get it and they managed to get it in. It was a week later than when it got released. But um, yeah, thank you for getting it in so I could see this film. Uh, they didn't do it personally just for me, but it's just really nice the fact that they, you know, they're listening to their audience and they're getting films in that people want to see. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, just, as I said, I keep, feel like I'm repeating myself here, so I don't want to waffle on too much longer. But go and see this film. Um, I say it's not for everyone, but it is heartbreaking, and I urge all of you to go and see it, basically. So that is it for this review. I say I don't want to waffle on too much longer. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment, please share and subscribe, and I will see you in the very next episode of The Jamie Hughes Show. Drop. <laughs>